What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, looking at a brand new card from Maximum Crisis called Bio Baboon. And before I really jump into the card, its effects, and how I think it should be used, I just have to point this out because I am fucking triggered at this point. This artwork is creepy as fuck. This thing is what nightmares are made of because this looks like it is straight out of Attack on Titan. And I just, I find this artwork to be completely disturbing. I'm sure that somebody is going to look at it and be like, oh, it's cute. No, oh my God, this, this shit is like like too scary i would be more afraid of being attacked by this than i would like i don't know a blue eyes white dragon because at least a blue eyes is just another big scary dragon like i know what a blue eyes wants to do it just wants to eat me but this thing like i don't know what the fuck it's gonna walk up on me and start smiling and rapping and then eat me like ugh, i just I, I can barely look at this card it the, the artwork is like fucking disturbing but with that being said, I think it's actually a pretty decent card. So it's a level three. It's a dark plant. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really get the, the, the it kind of just looks like it should be an earth, right? It's like a tree. You know what I mean? It being dark, I guess, is like whatever. 1,200 attack, 1,000 defense. It has two effects. Um, first effect of this card is normal or special summon. You can draw one card, then place one card from your hand on either the bottom or the top of your deck. Okay, that's not bad. Effect number two, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon any number of um, bio baboons uh, from your deck. So I don't know about you guys, but I actually think that this card is pretty good. If you look at both effects, I think they're both incredibly practical and easy to activate. The first effect doesn't actually give you any card advantage, but it lets you dig deeper into your deck. And you guys know that speed in Yu-Gi-Oh is everything. It lets you get to your combo pieces or your important cards a lot quicker. And then the second effect is good because this is the effect that can be a potential plus one, but at the same time, it lets you activate effect number one. So let's say you summon this and you activate the first effect. You dig a little deeper into your deck trying to get to your brilliant fusion or your instant fusion or whatever card you're looking for. And then it dies and then you summon two more copies. So you've already gone plus one. But then at the same time, you can activate their effects as well. And you think about it as like, damn, dude, I just dig three cards deeper into my deck. You know, I got rid of cards that I didn't need. And it's actually cool because that means that if you open with two copies of this, like as it won't really matter because you can just put the other copy like back into your deck. So opening with uh, multiple copies of this card should never actually be a problem, um, assuming that you resolve its effects. Now, the first set that I actually thought about, and this is probably not going to be the best application, you're like, Cap, you fucking noob, this is a terrible idea. The first deck I actually thought about was Metaphos, right? And just, just hear me out, right? So I thought about it. I was like, okay, so if I normal summon this, I can obviously draw a card and then put a card back. So if I draw Metaphos Fusion or any of the spells and traps, cards that I don't want in my hand because I'm going to search them, I can put them back and I'll essentially would have pseudo plus one and then I can blow this guy up I can get two more copies, I can draw two more cards, and then I can actually have, you know, some decent fodder on the field and think about if you use something like Gofu, right? So you can use Gofu, which if I'm not mistaken, is a level 5 tuner, so you could actually use this guy as synchro fodder. You can go into like Stardust Dragon and protect your scales. I was like, I think that's a pretty decent play. Now I, I don't know what other synergy it has outside of that, but I was like, Metaphos, this could definitely work. You can fusion with it too, because Metaphos, I think they use like a lot of little, like small monsters to like fusion so this card could totally work at metaphos now it wouldn't be like the best version of metaphos obviously oh it being level three also does work with bambaku because that means that um you can exceed with bambaku and you can go into things like uh what's that phantom knights of breaksword so i don't know I do feel like it being a plant actually helps it a lot more than if it was a beast, which I looked at it and I was like, oh, it's a baboon. It's it's definitely a beast card. But I think it being a plant makes it a little better because obviously you can summon it from Lone Fire Blossom. And then if you do like a big soul charge play, Lone Fire Blossom is also a level three. So you can exceed those two over for a rank three. You can banish it from the graveyard as if it was a level three and you can summon four. And just, I don't know, I feel like this card has a lot of applications. I'm probably not seeing them all immediately. Like Metaphos was just the first deck that jumped into my mind because i saw a lot of synergy there but i think this i think this card is overall pretty good i still don't quite understand why it's dark it when i look at the artwork i see a earth card but you know what that's neither here nor there so what do you guys think of this card i think the artwork is absolutely fucking disturbing and it is triggering me but i think it's actually a pretty good card so you guys let me know what you think of this card in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always please subscribe if you have not already